let's look at this lesson. Uh, I'm going to show you some fret positions, basically is what it amounts to. We're in the key of G, and I call this an interval lesson. What we're doing, if you're in the key of G, and you play 8, 7, 6 out of that chord, that 8th string is the 1st of the chord. The 7th string here, at the, we're at the 3rd fret, is the 2nd scale degree. And if you play that 6th string, that's the 3rd scale degree. So that's why this is a 1, 2, 3. Now I'm going to show you some different places to play that. And the reason for that is to show you places to start licks or ideas that you can play out of the key of G. It's kind of like the uh, ricochet thing that Lord Green does. You're learning your intervals, where the positions are, and you're also learning places maybe new to you that you can, uh, I call it noodling around. And you can come up with some different licks. Also, if you enjoy this video, then make sure to go ahead and press the like and subscribe buttons. You can also join the channel to receive early access to our videos by pressing the join button below. There's a tab and backing track available for this lesson. You can get those as well as over a hundred others and other benefits by clicking the card or the link in the description for our Patreon site. With all that said, let's get started. Uh, the very first note you're going to play is going to be the first of the G chord, which would be a G note. The second interval would be an A note. And the third is a B note. So you're playing a G, A, B note at different positions. But all these work over G, and they're all places that you might want to look at and explore, maybe come up with some different licks. And uh, normally, probably some of these would be for single note licks. Okay, so the first one, you go to your eighth fret, you play your tenth string. You go to your seventh fret, you play nine eight. Okay, so that's... Now the way we're connecting these, we're sliding on that second note. So we go back to our ninth string and then slide it down to five. That gets us to another G note. Then here we just play eight seven. Okay, we're going to slide on the the A note, the second interval. So here at the fifth fret, that would be the eighth string. You slide back two frets. So now we're at the third fret. We play seven six. So now we have this. Okay, we're going to hit our 7th string, and that's the one we're going to slide back to the 1st fret. And then we play 6, play 5 open, 6, and then we're going to end on the G note, the 7th string here at the 1st fret. Okay, another thing you can notice too is that you're moving two frets each time. We're going from the seventh, five, three, one. We're going down two frets each time. Okay, again, there's uh, Each one of these positions would be a good place to, you know, kind of, again, call it noodling, just kind of mess around going up or down from them and see if you can come up with some your own 
uh, licks or ideas like that. But again, real quick, it starts on the eighth string, I mean eighth fret, excuse me, eighth fret, tenth string, that's the G note. You go to the seventh fret, play nine, that's A. You play your eighth string here at the seventh fret, that's the B note. Okay, we're gonna slide on the, the A note, which in this case is your ninth string, you go back to fret. So here at the fifth fret, you resolve here with the ninth string, you just go eight, seven. So we pick our eighth string, slide it back two. We go seven, six. We pick our seventh string here at the third fret, go back two. Play six, five open, seven, uh, six, seven. Okay, so that's. Just practice it up up your fretboard like that and just it's kind of a mental gymnastics but and again give you a starting point buddy Emmons called them pockets where you can start your licks or your musical ideas you've, you've got to learn your fretboard and, and not you know you start out at a, at a point where you know the third frets G you know the tenth fret with your pedals down is a G so you've got those two down or you might know that your sixth fret with A pedal F knee lever is a G, or you might know that your eighth fret with your ED flat knee lever is a G. You might know your first fret with the A pedal down will work over a G7. So you're learning all that and just putting it, you know, storing it for your uh, ideas when you get with a band or with a group or that you're just, you know, playing for your own enjoyment. But here you've got some different positions and then you see musically, all you're playing is the first, second, third of the G chord. So you're playing a G, A, B note. Just playing in different positions. And then you see also that it, uh, numerically, you're just moving two frets. You go seven, five, one, two, two down, five, four, three. Two down, three, two, one. So you see this movement like that, and also that kind of gets in your mind for, a, I call it muscle memory, where you just, you're not having to think about it. All right, so give this one an, a, a go and let me know what you think about it. And hopefully, like I said, you'll come up with some different licks and uh, maybe share them with us or tell us what you thought about it. And uh, hope it helps. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video, and as always, we appreciate you watching, and uh, we'd like to take this opportunity to thank our supporters on YouTube and Patreon, especially our Tier 3 supporter, Steve. So on behalf of Jacob and I, keep picking.